Alright. Well, so I told you guys earlier, um, uh, I mean, I wasn't going to tell two Elton John stories, but what the hell. So, one of the greatest lessons I learned um, from Elton John is uh, had to come through total humiliation because he was um, trying to prove this point to me about seeking out new music and um, trying to find timelessness to mark uh, the music of our generation. And uh, this lesson came to me through a 65-year-old man. And, um, you know, we were sitting down for about two and a half hours and he was talking about bands non-stop. And so finally he starts like interrogating me and um, he was trying to make a point and he was going, and do you know this band? And do you know that band? Uh -huh. And do you know this band? And I kept saying, no, you know, I'll take the John, I don't know that band. And, uh, and so finally he gets totally exasperated and he's like, all right, so what artists are you listening to? And I was like, well, you know, I'm listening to like, Neil Young after a gold rush and Rose and Patrick Lyon. And he goes, I have, and have you just discovered these new artists? I was like, no. You know, I've been listening to them since I was a kid and sculpted the kind of music that I make. And, and he said that he made the point that that kind of that kind of artistry and that kind of influence is so deeply ingrained in a person that to keep referring back to it and never seek out something new causes a chain reaction to where we could see the end of timelessness in our generation because so often people my age are, are always seeking out older music. We want to find vintage guitars, you know, and uh, we don't want to wear cowboy boots unless they're 50 years old. But, but the truth is, is that there's timelessness happening all around us right now. And, the fact that you guys are coming out to see shows, it means that you're seeking it out too. And I'm not saying that I'm timeless, I'm just saying that you're bigger than me. So basically, Elton, you know, introduced me to a few new bands, and by a few, I mean he sent me a hundred records to my house. And he turned me on to this band that everybody else in the world knows about already, except for me, called the Kings of Leon. that band, that band is going to be like the who, you know? And so, and so before I had to learn about Kings of Leon through 65-year-old Elton John, my mother made an attempt, sadly. And she called me on my cell phone one day, and she's like, she's a country singer, and she's like, oh, honey, um, there's this new band I was hoping you could pick up the CD. And I don't know what they're called, but they have a song and it goes, Oh, your senses are flowing in. It's pretty much the one thing you never want to hear your mother say. <laughs> inspired me to play a lot of my own piano, although I'm admittedly not the greatest. And um, I'd love to play you guys this song that took me nine hours to record on the the Coast. It's called Before It Breaks. Will you guys do us the honor of singing this song with us? We have this special section in this song where we're going to turn this room into the three-part harmony. Reno Choir. And I will show you exactly what to do. I hope you don't mind me bringing the vibe down in here for just a couple of songs. I know we've been playing for a long time, but we're having a really good time.
a place in my heart for the Baptist, but I mean, you could say that if I was extreme about something, I mean, as if I was as extreme about something like my grade as I was about being a Baptist, I may not have finished high school early, <laughs> but I did. And, um, and so I lost this friend and it made me really angry and I just kind of moved on with my life and, and pretended like it was something that had happened to me. And, um, and then 10 years later, as these things do, it came back up one night, I was having a dream and I was driving around with my friend <clears throat> in his feeder car and blowing stop signs and getting sunburned and wow. buying coffees from a coffee stand. And I realized that my subconscious had gotten over itself and that, um, and that we were friends again. Yeah. And so I wrote this song, I hope you like it. Thank you. 